Yo, what up guys, it's Matt. We're gonna play some Modern tonight. Um, working on some projects. Gonna let you in on some projects that we're not quite <laughs> finished with yet. Um, and, you know, these are not... These two decks I'm gonna show you are not quite right. Um, but, uh... We're, I'm working on something. It's a little strange. Uh, both of them are a little strange, but I think there's merit to the theory behind it, right? So this um, I'm calling Naya Valakut, right? This is like a Prismatic Omen Valakut uh, deck that doesn't play Escape Shift. And the reason why it doesn't play Escape Shift is because Escape Shift is 10 tickets per. So uh, not spending 40 tickets for a set of four cards is not going to happen. So uh, instead, we've built uh, like more of a mid-range control kind of shell. Originally, I was trying to do this in an aggro shell, and just my the idea came from from Valakut, right? Valakut and Omen, right? So Omen says lands are every basic land type and Valakut says if you have five or more mountains um, when you have another land come and play you get a free lightning bolt right so my thought was what if we played like zoo or something like that um, but topped out at night of the reliquary and use this as a way to sack lands to bring more lands into play or search up specifically Valakut and you know tap this for lightning bolts right each time pumping it one uh so that was the the theory like it was basically i wanted to build around this card in a different shell than just an aggro shell and you know there's there's merit to it i haven't quite done it right so i tried doing it aggro i tried doing it mid-rangey i'm not quite there so right now i'm in more of a ramp control shell um, so how does this look? Well, I've got a Naya mana base um, with the four Valakuts. Um, in order to control the board, uh, I've got four Pyroclasms, four Day of Judgments. Uh, why Day, Ju Day of Judgment and not Wrath of God? Because this is like three cents. That's why. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much Wrath of God is, but I couldn't find any, so I, I took this. And I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Um, and then Knight of the Royal Quarry, as we said, and a bunch of ramp spells. So uh, explore ramps and cantrips. Farseek is good ramp. Uh, and scrying is there to find uh, Valica if you can't find it. Um, but it also works in the later turns to just, you know, search up a land to lightning bolt someone with. Uh, and then we've got Harmonize just to fill out the shell you know draw a couple cards uh, the sideboard is not complete pride mage is a way to deal with artifacts and enchantments wild speaker I feel could be good in a control matchup where you don't need the wraths right it's just another way to ramp mana while also being a threat um, fallout is there against um, delver or you know uh, where your pyroclasms could get countered or you just want more pyroclasm effects uh, rather than say day of judgment uh, men Sony silence and rest in peace are just going to be in every sideboard I ever play in modern because they're just so good against certain matchups so this deck is not it's not quite right there's something wrong with it uh, I haven't quite gotten there yet but uh, I think it's a lot of fun and uh, I'll play a couple matches with it the way it is. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of room for customizing this. You'll notice there's no Primeval Titans. That would definitely be a card I would play if it wasn't 35 tickets a piece. Ridiculous. I, you know, back in the day I had a play set of them, but you know, they were like two, three tickets then. And I thought that was obscene because that's when I first started playing. But, um, you know like obviously inflation whatnot um so hard to get out a hold of those um anyway uh so let's uh play some matches with this